Hello everyone, my name is Abel, I'm a Lighter Compositor in the Feature Animation industry, and I'll be your instructor in the series of tutorials where we'll explore the new cinematography tools available in Katana 4. By the end of this series, you'll be comfortable using and implementing these tools to your own workflow in your lighting projects, so let's jump right into it. Let's start by exploring the end goal of the new lighting mode. This update brings standard and new tools to a full screen workflow, thus allowing lighting artists to work from the camera view with no need to jump back and forth from the viewer. This means less clicks to perform traditional tasks and some cool new tricks which we'll go over. On the previous iterations of Katana, after creating a gaffer node, we would go in the parameters tab, right click and create a new light. From here, we can change the usual parameters such as color and intensity. Then we will go back to the viewer, translate and rotate the light while watching the changes happen in the monitor tab. Let's see how we can create and place a brand new light in Katana 4. First, I'll launch a live render and activate the monitor layer. This allows us to see the render over the geometry. Apart from the emissive material from the robot, there are no other lights in the scene. Now, we'll activate the lighting mode and we'll pick the type of light we want to create. For this example, I'll use an area light. Let's choose how we want to place this light. There are many modes we can choose from, and at first glance we see three divisions. Let's focus on the first block, which lets us pick where we want the light to illuminate. This is great for character lighting. I can pick, for example, to have a light point to the robot based on its normals. So all I have to do is shift-click on the viewer, make sure my lights are all active for live rendering by shift-selecting the light group, and now, you can see we have a light in the scene. Immediately, you'll see a brand new addition to the lighting mode. This floating head-up display menu allows you to change a few light settings and even customize the options you see here. Let's explore the options and add a few more lights to our characters on the next video.